Now the other day, a large package arrived and I didn't know what it was. Now it's a nice surprise when I opened it, because this is what was inside. The At Pro tripod. But is it any better than the Elder Crone Stand Plus? Hey there, how are you all doing? Hope you're all tickety-boo. So yeah, when it arrived, I was a little bit shocked to be honest with you, because there was this bloke who I believed invented this bit of kit, reached out to me a long, long time ago, a good two or three months ago, and asked whether or not I'd test and review it. To be honest with you, at my age, it had been such a long time that I'd forgotten all about it. And I can tell you now, you're gonna be surprised, because this is my new favorite bit of kit. So this is my new favorite thing, but this is my new favorite thing. Because it's so versatile, this little beauty, Dare I say it, maybe even better than the Elder Crone Stand Plus. And for those of you who watch this channel, that's a pretty big statement for me to make because I love Elder Crone. I own all their gear. I'm definitely not going to run the Stand Plus down. You can check out a video on it up here. But this bloody beauty is like the Stand Plus on steroids. Let's dive right in and check this one out. Plus, in a minute, I'll show you some comparisons I did when I was down at our florist taking some photos of the promo stuff and all of that for our website. First up, I can tell you this bad boy is built like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's constructed of high quality aluminium alloy, which means it's both lightweight and durable. And it can handle up to a whopping 3.5 kilos of camera gear on there. So you can say goodbye to the wobbly shots. Comes with this quality bag here so you can pack everything away and take it out with you on those shoots. And as you can see, you can get everything in here nice and easy. I do like a good bag. It is heavier than the Stand Plus, but not by that much. And the first thing I wanted to look at was the differences between these pieces of kit, because they do similar things. Although the App Pro will do something special in a minute. But the first thing that caught my attention was the multi-angle mounting plate on here and its quick release system. It is a dream because when it comes to setting up and breaking down your gear, you can do it in a flash. Oh my God! Flash! Oh my God. Hi. I love you. As you can see here on the Elder Chrome one, you have this screw mechanism, which isn't an issue, but I personally prefer the one on the App Pro. So the first question you've probably got is why should I buy one of these over a standard tripod? Firstly, I'm sure you'll all agree what a pain in the rear it is when it comes to setting up the standard ones. Undoing all the legs, having to level it out, and then if you really want to move it around, you've either got to be packing it down or lifting it and tripping over the legs like I often do. So with the App Pro and the Stand Plus, what you can do is say goodbye to all that hassle. The Stand Plus needs you to stand on the base just like this and then lift it, and then you put your knee on one of the joints just like this and lift it to its full height. With this one though, as the joints themselves are like a resistance base, they're not got levers or any locks on there, it can be a little bit clunky. And to adjust the camera angle, it's pretty simple. All you need to do, is tilt the camera in handle just like this, which is great for getting all those different angles or the overhead shots. When it comes to the App Pro for setting up, this is where it wins hands down because it has these hydraulic assistants on there with locking mechanisms as well, which makes it a simple breeze to set up. What you do is press this lever with your foot, which releases the cables and the hydraulics, making it really, really smooth and easy to get into that right position. And as with the Stand Plus, you alter the camera angle pretty simply in the same way. But again, it has an extra benefit on this one because what you have is this locking nut on here, which you can tighten up and release to make the resistance less or more. And then once you've got it in that position, you can lock it down, which makes it really, really easy to take those stable shots and keeps it in place. And rather than having to break down your tripod, both of these have the ability to slide along, be it on an even floor, I know, so you wouldn't really be taking these out and about with you around rocks and things like that, but it slides along an even floor pretty well. The Stand Plus itself has these big ball bearings in there, which are okay, but the App Pro again goes that one step further. As I said, it's like it's on steroids. It's got three wheels on it, which are a lot, lot smoother, and also have these handy locks on them, which is also an added benefit when it comes to smooth rotations like this around your talent or the object that you're filming or taking photos of. Now the next bit is one where initially the Stand Plus comes out on top because because when it gets to the maximum height of these, the Stand Plus is taller, as you can see here. But the App Pro comes with this carbon fiber pole, which is an ingenious little bit of kit. It gets attached to the quick release plate and then all you do is attach it in the same way as you would do the camera. And then you attach the camera to the ball head just like this 
and then look at how high you can get. That's just gonna add creative possibilities to this little beauty, isn't it? Now for those overhead or top-down shots. They both do this really, really well. You don't even have to do it like that. You can have the camera coming over from an angle from behind you and things like that. When I took these down to the florist, however, I find that the Stand Plus, you have to place your foot on it and when you're leaning forward uh, to take shots and things like that. And before this one arrived, again, it wasn't an issue to me at all. In fact, I didn't even notice that I was doing that. But when the App Pro one came along, this wins hands down. As it moves smoothly in like this, you can lock the wheels down and then confidently take some shots without having to worry about it toppling over. So what are my final thoughts on it? Well, even though they both have this multi-angle column on there, the App Pro one, for me, becomes a clear winner when it comes to taking those creative artistic shots. Plus, it's quick release plate, make it a lot easier to break your gear down and swap things around. And the added benefit of that security of the hydraulics and the locking mechanism on there, plus the wheels on the bottom, just make it that much smoother piece of kit that allows you to get creative. And at the time of making this video, I couldn't find where you could actually buy one of these pieces of kit because I don't even believe they're released yet. But as soon as I do, what I'll do is drop a link down in the description below or pop it in one of the comments for you. That also means that I'm not sure the price of this little beauty neither. But with all the advantages of this one over the Stand Plus, I'd be happy to pay more for this than the Stand Plus. No shit, Sherlock. But like I said, the Stand Plus itself does come in cheaper, I expect, and it's a little bit lighter to carry around. And it can get the job done. But which one is right for you? It all depends at the end of the day on your needs. If your priority is heavy duty performance with versatility to get those creative shots, then the App Pro is definitely gonna be a fantastic choice. However, if funds are low and you want a lighter weight model and things like that, then there's gonna be nothing wrong with that Stand Plus. So which one would you want? Or are you gonna buy? Let me know in the comments down below. I know which one I want, but it's got to go back. But unless, of course, they let me keep it, which would be nice. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you've enjoyed it, you know what to do. Until next time, keep creating, keep smiling, but above all, keep having fun. See ya. Because this is my new favourite bit of kit. So this is my new favourite thing, but this is my new favourite thing. <laughs>